available now on Blu-ray from Severn Films is a film that I'd never heard of, which tends to be the case with a lot of Severn releases. They're really digging deep to this far into the Blu-ray game, consistently be releasing titles that a lot of genre fans were unaware of or maybe had only ever read about. This is a film from 1976, 75, depending on your source, called Born for Hell. This is a thriller, horror, dark drama featuring a man who is recently a Vietnam vet. He gets off, jumps ship, gets off the boat in Northern Ireland, and this is mid-70s Northern Ireland, so it's not a, not a tourist destination, shall we say. You have the IRA bombings happening, you have soldiers in the streets. It's basically a war zone. It's, it's, it's in many ways akin to what Beirut would be a bit later in the next decade. Um, so this guy, is, he's basically, he's a rambling guy. He's a guy who, he, he's a very quiet, very stoic uh, Vietnam vet, looking not wildly dissimilar to how Stallone looks when you first see him in First Blood, just wandering into this, you know, Pacific Northwestern town. And this guy kind of wanders around Belfast. He uh, is present for a bombing and it doesn't really face him very much. And he's present for various unpleasantries and it doesn't very face him very much. And he sort of is just kind of twisting in the wind, so to speak, while he's here. And he ultimately fall, comes upon this house that is occupied entirely by young nurses. This is a boarding house, no men allowed, a boarding house for young nurses. And he eventually decides to just walk in one day and take them all hostage. And the film gets increasingly exponentially more unpleasant as it goes along from there. This is a film, let's say, I would equate it to something like A Last House on the Left, or Night Train Murders, or in a very, very vaguer terms, a movie called Angst, German, very grim horror movie. Grim is the word I would use for this. So basically, the rest of the film is this, I, I, you, you, shorthand you would say crazed Vietnam vet, but the guy's relatively low key. He's, he's not well, but he's relatively low key. And he basically ties all these women up and does does unpleasant things to them and offs them one by one. Not to really ruin the movie, but that's that's the basic premise of the movie. And it's just really, it's really very low key is the word I would use. It's not not a lot of score to be had in this film. Not a lot of um, over the top performances. And it just it sells it. It sells that you're on a very dark road that you don't necessarily want to make it to the end of because a lot of the characters in the movie you can you know aren't going to make it to the end of it. So um, I had never heard of this until Severn released this Blu-ray. And apparently this is the uncut director's cut, which has never been released in the U.S. It was originally released on video here, I'm presuming in the 80s, under a, the title Naked Massacre, which uh, was a different edit of the film. It was about 10 or so minutes shorter. This Blu-ray sort of reconstructs the Naked Massacre version of the movie, and I think that may have some score differences or some score in it as well. I didn't re-watch it, I just sort of scanned through it. And it looked to me like and you didn't get a VHS copy of the movie on this tape. What you got was, using the restored elements, they just matched it to what the original US home video version was. So you can see what you would have seen on tape back then only looking good. Uh, the video quality, this is excellent. It's a 2K transfer from the original negative, I believe. A negative or, or answer print or something very close to the source. A couple of moments where you see a thin green line going down the edge of the screen or a speckle, but very, very rare. I think it looks about as good as this movie ever could. And wow, it was really, it, it, it was not pleasant. It's, it's one of those movies like like Seven or like Last House on the Left that you, you watch and it makes an impact on you, but you don't necessarily want to watch it again. It's, Crawl at the beginning says this film was based on actual events. A little bit of research, i.e. looking at the extras on this disc, which are voluminous. Actually, as I record this, I haven't made it through all the extras yet. They're based on the Richard Speck nurse killings that occurred in America back in the, I believe, I want to say 60s. Uh, so it, ta it takes that idea of a guy killing a bunch of nurses and transplants it to another time and place. Um, I thought this was really good. Now, again, your mileage may vary on this kind of content. There's a lot of nudity, there's violence. It's really realistically portrayed, which is not to say gory really at all. There's blood, but it's really more, it's just unpleasant. It really kind of puts you in this space with these women trying to figure out 
who this guy is. And, and uh, again, if I must endlessly quote the tagline for Chainsaw Massacre, who will survive and what will be left of them mentally. Um, extras again, voluminous. Let me uh, actually have the disc right here. I can give you a quick rundown. So you have an interview with the lead actor, uh, Matthew Carreri. Sorry, Matt, I pronounce it wildly incorrectly. Um, uh, multiple, uh, multiple extras about the Richard Speck case the, that this was based on um, in the U.S. release cut and the Italian trailer. So, and I'm, I'm simplifying that, but there's like eight or more extras on this. It's very, very impressive. For a film I'd never heard of, uh, a film that has never had a proper release in this country, Severin's done an amazing job as they consistently keep doing. So uh, as far as the average person, I would probably not recommend Born for Hell. Born for Hell, by the way, refers to a, a tattoo on the, uh, the psychopath's arm, uh, which pretty much sums up his attitude toward life. And uh, I would recommend this to a horror fan. If you're a fan of movies like Last House on the Left and La Night Train Murders and things like that, Last House on the Beach, all that stuff, any, any Last House kind of thing, this is similar but more, dare I say more artistically made? I don't know. This is more, this feels more like an art house or foreign film than it does a low-grade, trashy, sleazy movie. Though it kind of is a low-grade, slashy, treasy, treasy movie. And eventually, you know, in, in post we'll fix what I say incorrectly. Uh, it's just, I thought this was quite good and, and, and a wonderful surprise in the grimmest, most depressing way. So out now on Blu-ray from Severin Films, Born for Hell.